phone just buzzed. Hey cream puffs, can you shut up? Hey cream puffs, it's Gracie and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video and this is going to be like one of those like really long talk talk videos, talkity videos, I don't know what to call them, but like um, they're kind of fun to do and I just get to diamond farm while I do it so like why not film one of these? Um, so yeah, this is just gonna be my opinion on some of the things. I'm gonna be talking a bit about what I think about all the stuff that's been going on recently. And you don't have to agree with it, but I ask you not to comment hate or hate on anyone else's opinions in the comments. Alright, um, before we get into today's video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my videos and you get notified every single time I post. So, I actually, fun fact, um, was going to make a video and it was like halfway edited in my editing program of like things to do before, um, New Year's leaves, but New Year's has left, so there goes my work yeah. um you should go dress up as a rat and i am dead serious literally okay i mean you can dress up as a rat in any other realm but i feel like it's really fun to do it in this realm especially when people still don't know how to get the chest and i mean it's really fun to chase people around i chased around this girl named charlie for 30 minutes a week ago and she got really mad at me but it was so fun she didn't know who i was or anything um i just chased her around and she got really mad Anyway, um, I'm gonna be doing like one of these talk videos, like I said, about um, the Royal High Writers Contest. Not just the bracelet, but like the Writers Contest in general, and my opinions on it. And I actually did one of these, but I wanted to redo it just because I kind of found out some more information about it. For example, I didn't know the bracelet wasn't tradable when I filmed the first time, so I'm gonna be redoing it, and I really hope you guys enjoy it and listen up. By the way, I'm gonna be speed farming, or diamond farming, you know, the whole time, but anyways, let's get into it. So. Um, I just want to talk one thing about the community's reaction to begin with when they heard there was going to be a prize and then kind of the reaction after the bracelet came out, how people have been responding to it, not just people like the players, but YouTubers and influencers. And then I want to talk about kind of like the whole problem with what happened when the first writing form was opened. What didn't sit right with me right from Christmas was people and the urge to suddenly enter the writing contest when people would think that they'd give out more halos. If you guys don't know, people who actually made it into the writer's contest for the winter 2020 event were actually um, able to receive the winter 2020 halo as a gift. I'm pretty sure the devs just did this because maybe they were feeling really nice and I mean it was kind of the holidays so that's probably one of the reasons they might have done it and in Kate Ka's video which I recommend you guys watch um I'm really not sure on the writing time so I'm not sure if it's too late but she does say a few things and I watched it over and she did say that they were going to see how the community responded to them giving out the winter 2020 halo and obviously they responded terribly <laughs> What I mean by terribly is everyone was freaking out that they had given a halo and everyone was like, okay, well now you guys should be ready to enter for next year because they're going to give out a halo possibly. No one confirmed this, but a lot of people were assuming they'd give out the Valentine's halo or whatever because they had given out the winter halo. This caused a lot of people to suddenly show interest in the writing contest. Well, no wonder because people thought they would get a halo if they won. This never sat right with me because I felt like the people who suddenly found interest in it were only there because they wanted the halo. Now I'm totally okay with people only realizing that there's a writer's contest or just showing curiosity in writing or people who literally and genuinely like to write and have done it before and are good at it. But people who all of a sudden with no writing experience or anything like that try to join the competition because they thought a halo was coming out was kind of selfish. Now this goes into my next point which is the bracelet and obviously we're going to talk a bit about that. So like I said, like I said, KCOD didn't want to confirm that they were going to be giving out another halo for 2021 because they wanted to see the community's reaction. Now the community reacted pretty bad I would say to the halo because people were like freaking out that they might get a chance to win a halo not just by wishing at the fountain or trading you know. 
So instead, they came up with this thing of giving out a bracelet for any writer who um, makes it through. So if you guys don't already know, they actually already have a Royal High Writer Badge, which I will pop up here. So people who have won the contest before will get the badge ever, if they've ever made it through. Now, I don't know if they wanted to start doing this from a while ago or they wanted to do it because people were already expecting like a prize after the halo, but they came out with this bracelet that would be given to anyone who made it through the writer's contest. Excuse my voice cracks, by the way. But basically, the community did not handle this well at all. I'm pretty sure this is one of the worst reactions to new items coming out, but what made it all so crazy was the fact it was just a tiny little bracelet. Now I'm going to get into what I mean by this, but I'm just going to start off by saying that the bracelet is not tradable. I am sorry about the continuous buzzing. My friends wouldn't shut up. Also, I feel so dumb because I kept checking my phone while I was editing, only to realize it was just the audio from the video. Now, I didn't know this when I filmed my first video, which never actually got published, but my opinions were very different because I thought people were going to try to enter so they could trade it away or overprice it. Now I know that no one can actually trade it because it is not tradable. This would mean that the only real reason is to have it as kind of like a memory that I won the writer's thing or to show it off even though it's probably very small. I bet that got rid of a lot of people who were just interested in it for the value, but I need to talk about why people got so hyped up about it. Now, I think one of the main reasons for this was some of the videos that certain influencers has been posting. Now, I'm totally okay with people trying to explain how to get into the writing contest because a lot of people tried to make videos on that before KCOS because obviously hers didn't come out as soon as some of the other YouTubers did. But the thing was, a few YouTubers were obviously saying things like, it's the rarest item in the game, or like, how to get the free bracelet. Now, I know these are all true statements, but I feel like they worded them kind of in a way that made people think that there is a very easy way to get the bracelets, or just make people so much more interested in entering the writing contest. Now obviously we want people to be interested in entering the writing contest, but the thing is we got interest from the wrong people. What I mean by this is there were a handful of people who only wanted to enter the writing contest for the sole fact of winning the bracelet. I mean my opinion is that I feel like writers should be the ones to have a shot at doing this because my kind of comparison to all this was when there's an art competition say your art gets featured as a thumbnail like they did at Christmas, no person who has no experience with art in the past would be like, okay, we're gonna do this. Maybe because they knew that it would turn out pretty bad and I mean, they probably didn't have experience or maybe because there wasn't any gain except to see your art up there. Now, it's different with the writing contest because there is actually a gain, which is the bracelet. So obviously people, no matter how good or bad they are at writing, are going to want to enter. Again, I'm not saying it's bad to try new things and stuff like that, but I mean, the writer's contest is very is for aspiring writers and people who like enjoy writing, and it's kind of their way to contribute to the Royal High community. So basically, when people joined the forum, you won't believe how many people entered. First of all, KCOS says that with a regular amount of writers who are trying to get in, and this is before there was a prize because nobody before this month's writing competition would have known there was a prize, people, the form literally filled in in 10 minutes. That is insane. That means there are tons of writers who are avidly like trying to get their great writing into the form. Now, just imagine, <laughs> I don't know how many, but way, way more people. Most of these people who are now entering are people who have never had any experience with writing in the past, may not even have watched Kate Cut's video explaining how to enter and what can disqualify you, and many of these people just coming from hearing that this bracelet will be the rarest item in the game, and it's rarer than a halo, and it's free to enter. So the form crashed, pretty much, from what I know and from what I've heard. So if I'm correct and the forum has crashed, that's just so frustrating and annoying to think about because there are just so many people who probably didn't even know how to write or watch Keika's video beforehand and literally just like barged into the writing thing. All right, so who knows how long this video is going to be. The like raw take has been 17 minutes of me talking. So I don't know how much it'll be when I edit it all, but let's hope 
this video doesn't get a lot of backlash because it wasn't meant to. I'll probably add a disclaimer at the beginning. Watch me do that. I mean, okay, if you're watching till the end, thank you so much for watching. And that is me ranting about this writer's thing. And yeah, it was kind of exhausting. My throat is so dry right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you found it useful, entertaining, or helpful in any way. And I will see you guys all when I post live stream or premiere something next. Bye!